for this featured prelim fight, we have Phil, Philly Fresh Row. Oh, oh, my oh, man. Oh, and again. And up top. And again. What is keeping him up? Oh, that just oh. missed. As Kosi oh. stops. Oh. That's going to do it. Wow. Phil Rowe with the comeback in round two. Versus Jake the Celtic Kid Matthews. So that is an issue for him. And now he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. That's it. This is, this is a really slept on fight on the prelims, I think. You're Two, familiar with, with Philip, right? I know Phil Rowe. Uh, uh, we're from a similar area, Central Florida. Um, and I think that this is a very slept on matchup. I, I think both of these guys are super entertaining, super talented, and, and, and most of all, they're both very exciting. Um, that being said, you know, of course I'm going to have my biases for the Central Florida kid, but I, I, I love this matchup. What do you guys think? I think Rowe's got very good boxing. I think he's given a lot of people trouble with it. He likes to get kind of heavy on his lead foot, do a little bit of head movement, get into his flow. He's also got an underrated jujitsu game. This guy's competed pro grappling. He's competing when he's not fighting. He's constantly working on it and evolving it. He's very well-rounded. He's very dangerous. I think if he gets his hands going, he can take over. You know, Jake Matthews really came into his zone a couple fights back and improved his boxing, had some really good performances there. His last time out, he uh, kind of got blown out of the water by the athleticism, but he, he hung tough, he, and he made it to the decision. It wasn't his best performance. I think both of them are really looking for that stamp. They're both looking for a finish. They want to push themselves up this division, get some top 10 matchups, get a performance. I think this is going to be an absolute banger. Who gets this one done? Final prediction, guys. Who, who gets it done and how? It's a tough call. These are two guys, in my mind, who are both extremely dangerous. They get a lot of finishes and extremely underrated in, their, in a weight class that's stacked full of guys where it's hard to get to the top. Um, I think somebody gets finished, knocked out, or submitted. Uh, I, think, I think that adjustments that, that Phil Rowe has been making throughout his career are really going to become uh, apparent in this. I know uh, he works with Julian Williams out of Fusion XL, who is a tremendous grappler. And that has to rub off a lot. And, and we've seen, like, we, we, we've, we've talked about his jiu-jitsu game, but uh, I think his defensive wrestling is really getting somewhere as well. Because even in fights where, where he does lose and he gets control, he's not getting, like, you know, mauled. He's not put in a bad position. Yeah, he's not put in a bad position. It, it seems almost like he kind of gets stalled to defeat. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, mm -hmm. people are really, I feel like people are trying to neutralize his game as opposed to enact their game. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think Phil Rowe gets through. I know he's got some serious pop, especially in that straight right hand. I think he gets Jake Matthews out of there. What do you think, Ryan? I was gonna say Phil Rowe with the straight shots. Seems to be his best bet. He's a little taller, he's a little longer. Jake Matthews really likes his left hook and wants to get a little closer to you. I think Rowe by decision in this one. One of these guys takes a step towards contender and one of them stays a gatekeeper. Let's find out who.